storm team four now and a quiet and cool day in Waukesha. But <laughs> as life yeah. moves on, we will see what we knew we were going to see eventually, Steve. Now with negatively Milwaukee, here's Brian Goddard. <laughs> <laughs> True. Carol, congratulations to you and to everyone involved. Very much deserved. You guys put a lot of hard work uh, into these stories and um, just congrats. All right, let's go to the negative, Milwaukee. Maybe I'll get an Emmy for this. <laughs> Uh, temperatures this morning were in the 20s and lower 30s. It was frosty once again like it was all weekend. Nice weekend, wasn't it? Uh, frosty start. Temperatures near 40 in the afternoon. No wind. And the same for today. Hardly a breeze. 39 in Waukesha. 45 in Milwaukee and Racine. 46 in Kenosha. 39 in Beaver Dam and West Bend. Now the sun has set. The temperature has dropped pretty quickly with this dry air. Down to 36 degrees in Milwaukee. It's almost 10 degrees colder than just uh, about 90 minutes ago. And that dew point's at 27. Now, that's how cold we could have dropped tonight if the clouds weren't rolling in and they have started to move in. Current temperatures are in the low to mid-30s. Clouds are starting to increase in the Chicagoland area and near Rockford as well. We saw a few in our uh, camera shot as well earlier. And it's from that storm system. Yes, that is snow moving through south-central Iowa. And guess what? It's heading in our direction. Yeah, we've had snowflakes already this season, uh, but nothing really accumulating. This would be the first accumulating snow of the season, and we're going to see the less of it. That's why we don't have an advisory here locally until noon, though, from Stevens Point to Wapaka to Madison, Rockford, uh, to Platteville and the Cross. That area could pick up two to four inches of snow. We don't pick up anywhere near that for the fact that uh, we're, most of our precipitation will be rain late tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon, where most of theirs will be snow tonight and early tomorrow morning. It will be a wet day tomorrow. Morning snow, afternoon rain. So just have that umbrella handy. Any snow we get tomorrow melts as temperatures warm up. Less than an inch uh, from Sheboygan to Kenosha along the lakefront, including Milwaukee, but the roads will be wet for that morning commute. One to two in the inland areas. Most of the area will pick up about one. Some isolated two on the grassy surfaces, side streets, and driveways. Watch out for that. The main roads should just be wet in the morning. Once again, less than an inch along the lakefront. One to two uh, in the inland area. So tonight, the clouds increase. The snow doesn't get here until like after five in the morning. Uh, you'll have those wet roads and the precipitation falling. I say precipitation because it's a little bit of everything. Uh, during the morning hours, then it becomes all rain afternoon tomorrow night and into Wednesday. So the next couple of days are dreary and rainy. Also windy tomorrow, a high of 43, gusting close to 30 miles per hour, rainy on Wednesday, uh, and also some fog, 50 on Thanksgiving Day, not bad for Friday, and next week looks cold. We'll be back with more news and more award-winning Carol Meekins and Steve Shamrise after this.